So in this question, we read that the height of a student above ground on a, on a circular Ferris wheel can be modeled by the equation h of t is equal to a sine bt plus c plus d. So we're not given any specific information there, just that it's a sinusoidal function there. Uh, where h of t is the height in meters and t is seconds. Uh, okay, the diameter of the wheel is 22 meters. Okay, that's significant. The, the diameter of the wheel is 22 meters. So over here, that means top to bottom of this is 22 meters. Now, not to the ground, top of the wheel to the bottom of the wheel. Now, that's significant, uh, not because 22 meters ends up showing up in here, but remember that amplitude is half that distance. It's the distance from the center to the top or the center to the bottom. So if I know that the diameter is 22, I know that the radius must be 11, which means the amplitude of this motion must be 11 because in a, in a case of a, of a rotating wheel, Amplitude and radius will be exactly the same things here. Okay, so now that's just me kind of going off when they give you the information here, like this is what that implies. So, and the student starts at the bottom of the Ferris wheel at t equals zero at a height of four meters above ground. Okay, so now that's giving us this separation right here. That's four meters. And what are we told here? The Ferris wheel reaches a maximum height uh, for the first time after 45 seconds. Okay, so it takes 45 seconds to go from the bottom up to the top there. Now, here's the question. The value of d in the equation is what? Okay, now don't look at the answers right now. Let's just, let's just think about this. d is gonna be the distance from the ground to the center. Now, from the ground to the bottom of the wheel was four meters, and the distance from the outside of the wheel to the center is the radius, and we've already established that that's 11. So putting those two together, that's gotta be 15, and there's our answer, b.